Today, I'm going to change your life. I'm going to take you from the office nobody to the Archicad shortcut expert everyone relies on. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to teach you all of the Archicad shortcuts that are fundamental and essential to make you the shortcut king or queen in your office. I will quickly warn you that this video will be relatively jumpy, but there is an Easter egg in the middle if you pay close attention. So without further ado, let's turn around to these two screens and get started. So now that we have Archicad 25 open, brand new, fresh template, nothing really else that is out of the ordinary. We're gonna start by running through the absolute basic shortcuts and working through about three pages worth of incredible shortcuts, both for Mac and Windows, that if you stick around, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can download a PDF copy of all of this information so you don't have to keep coming back watching this video over and over again. Starting Arcad with the most basic shortcuts, Command or Control plus the letter N is gonna automatically open up a new project template. Command Option N or Control Alt N is gonna prompt you with a save box. Basically what you're doing here is if you go don't save, it's gonna open up a 100% completely blank template. So there's gonna be nothing on here, all the settings are gonna be reverted back to bare bones. This isn't something that I recommend very often, so if you are starting a new Archicad template, it's always Control N and use whatever template is available to you. Command or Control O is gonna open up whatever file you want, whilst Control or Command W is gonna close that particular project but still leave Archicad running in the background. If instead you press Command or Control Q, it will close Archicad entirely whilst prompting you to save that project before you do so. Just like in every other program, Control S or Command S is to save your project. Command Shift or Control Shift plus S is save as. Control Z is gonna undo your last action. Control or Command Z is gonna undo your last action. So if I quickly draw a slab, Control Z, undo. Control Shift Z or Command Shift Z will redo that same action. Command A is gonna highlight everything in your project at once, whilst Command Shift A is going to allow you to actually locate the project file or the window that you're looking for. Basically, everything that is open up the top is gonna to open up in a grid view here on your screen when you press Command or Control Shift A. Command B is gonna actually repeat your last command. So if I did Command D over here, and then press Command B again, it would repeat that same command. Command C, very simple, copy. Command V, very simple, paste. In Archicad, you have to click once more outside the dash line to finalize your paste elements. So if I drag that across, we have two identical elements. Delete, very simple, will delete anything you have selected. Control or Command F is gonna open up your find and select template box. If you wanna get a copy of this PDF shortcut, you can download it from my website. It is 100% free for you to download at no cost to you whatsoever. All you have to do is go down to the description below, click on the link and wait five seconds for the pop-up to appear. I designated five seconds because I didn't wanna pester you guys if you're shopping for something else. As we all know, people don't spend five seconds on a website. So if you do want this template, scroll down, click the link, wait five seconds, put your email in and it will be sent to your inbox within a matter of seconds. Now in Arcad 25, they've actually removed a very useful command, which I'm gonna show you exactly how to reinstate. So if we come up to options, work environment, and scroll down to keyboard shortcuts, we can reinstate a very popular shortcut. What I'm gonna do is now scroll down in the current subsection menu structure to find Hotlink and Hotlink Manager. Now you can find that under external content, pressing on place Hotlink, assign the control plus apostrophe or command plus apostrophe, go assign anyway to override the existing currently assigned shortcut, press OK and repeat that same step. So options, work environment, keyboard shortcuts, external content, hot link module manager, and then we are gonna go control shift apostrophe and reassign anyway and press OK. So now if we press the control and apostrophe button, it's gonna open up our place hot link window whilst control shift and the apostrophe button is our hot link module manager. Moving into the drawing section of these shortcuts, if you've got an item selected, you can press control or command D to automatically move it, control or command E to open up the rotate tool, command H to stretch that section along, command M to automatically activate the mirror tool, Command K to resize anything you have selected, 
by simply following the typical resize proportion style. And finally, Command T to open up the actual settings of the item you have selected. Command Shift D allows you to drag and copy immediately without having to press Command Shift and then tapping the control button as an alternative. Command Shift E automatically allows you to copy and rotate at the same time. Command G allows you to group elements while Command Shift G allows you to ungroup those same elements that you've just grouped together. If you have objects grouped together and you only wish to select one portion of that group, you can press Alt or Option G depending on your system to suspend and unsuspend those groups. Last but not least, moving into the fundamentals of the background scene, if you press Control or Command Up, you will move along the story settings as you see here on the right hand panel. Same thing is effective if you press the down arrow as well. If you're using a mouse that doesn't have a scroll wheel, it's also effective to know that you can press the control and the square brackets in and out as an option to zoom in and out to your objects. Anyway, that's all for me today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some valuable content and some valuable information out of it. If you did, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and as always, I'll see you next Monday.